Today we're making deviled eggs and not your traditional classic style. We're making it Mexican style today. And on top of that, I'm making the white part of the deviled egg crunchy. I'm putting a little coating on it. You're gonna love this recipe. It's delicious. It's fairly easy and I think you'll love it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. What does the gas stove say when you turn on the gas? I'm lit. So I'm starting off here with three eggs. These are pasture raised eggs. That's what I like to use. And uh, you can easily double or even triple this recipe. So you wanna place your eggs in a saucepan and cover them with water. Make sure they're covered about an inch or so and place it on the stove and bring this to a boil. A good idea is to boil your eggs the day before and then they're ready to go when you're ready to make these. I'll cook the eggs, I'll bring these to a boil, and then once it's boiling, I'm going to put the lid on it, turn off the heat, and set the timer for 17 minutes, and they come out perfect every time. I did a test where I cooked one egg for 13 minutes, I took cooked the second one for 15 minutes, and the last one for 17 minutes. The conclusion is that the yolks turned out the best at 17 minutes. After 17 minutes, it's important to plunge those eggs into some ice water. This will stop the cooking process immediately, and the eggs will be perfectly cooked. After the eggs have cooled to say about 10 minutes in that ice water, go ahead and peel them. Once the egg is peeled, go ahead and dunk it into that ice water to remove any shells that are still stuck to it. Grab a chef's knife and slice those eggs right in half, and you can see how beautifully done those egg yolks are. Now gently place those egg yolks into a bowl like I have here and just do it ever so gently so you don't tear the egg white. To create this beautiful crust, we're going to use some Aaliyah's Italian breadcrumbs along with some Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour. So I've set up a, a dipping station here. In the first bowl here I have the Bob's Red Mill flour, an egg, and the breadcrumbs. To coat the egg whites, we'll just take an egg white and dip it into the flour first, coat it all the way around, and then shake off any excess flour. Then dip it into the scrambled egg and make sure that all the surfaces are covered. Drain off any excess egg and then dip it into the breadcrumbs. It's easier here to use a spoon to just scoop those crumbs right over the top of that egg. Make sure it's nicely covered and then shake any excess off and place it on a clean plate. And don't worry too much if you see some spots that aren't perfectly covered like you see here. It'll turn out fine. Now it's time to start cooking our shells. I've got a medium sized pan here and I'm filling it, or not filling it, but I'm adding about a good inch of avocado oil because it's heart healthy. All right, I'm gonna pour some of that in there and we want this to be a good inch deep. And make sure that your oil gets up to at least 360 degrees Fahrenheit before you start cooking these. And an instant read thermometer is a great tool to use for this. Now that the oil is hot, we're going to go ahead and carefully set these into the oil. And you should see it should bubble up right away like it is doing there. My temperature is on medium heat here, so you want to keep a close eye on these as these cook up really quick, maybe one to two minutes. You may have to adjust your heat up and down just a little bit depending on how hot and cold things get. I'm placing a paper towel covered plate right next to my pan so that when they are done I have something to place them on and the paper towels will help drain the, the extra oil. Now after about two minutes I'm going to flip these over and using two tools here that really helps using the tongs and the pancake flipper uh, really helps it because you need to be gentle with these. So just toss them all over and let them go another couple minutes. Then when you're ready to take these out of the pan, make sure you kind of tip them over to drain out any grease that might have collected in the bottom of the egg. It must be time for chef joke number two. What genre of music do avocados like to listen to? Hardcore guac. 
Now it's time to start on our filling. So I've got some red onion here and I'm giving it the super fine dice because nobody wants big chunks of onion in their deviled eggs. So I'm giving it the horizontal slice routine and then we're gonna go vertical. The closer together these slices are, the finer your dice will be without much effort. Now we'll slice down and you'll see how nice and small this dice is already. I'll run my knife through this one more time to get the really super fine dice. Now to make this a little Mexican style, we are adding some avocado and it's going to give it a nice creamy texture and provide some really good fats in this. This avocado is looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and scoop in probably about half of an avocado. Next I'm going to add a little bit of lime here. That This lime here is trying to pretend like it's a lemon, but it really is a lime. Squeeze that lime juice in just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. And this is going to do two things. It's going to brighten up the flavors and it's going to keep the avocado from turning brown. Next ingredient we're putting in this is some avocado mayo. Remember that's heart healthy. That's about a heaping tablespoon of that. Now with those red onions we chopped up, I'm probably putting in about a tablespoon of that, maybe a heaping tablespoon. You don't want to overpower it, but you want to get enough for flavor. And you can always add more once you taste it. Now we've got to add salt to bring all those flavors together and bring out that avocado flavor. Now it's time to add some hot sauce. And I like Frank's because it's not too hot and it's got some good flavor. So you can add as much of this as you want. I, I just went for a several drops. And then I added more after I tasted it. I used a fork to mash this up, but you could also use a potato masher if you want. Just get, make sure you get everything nice and smooth. And this is a nice consistency here. It'll hold up when you put it in your eggs. Now all you have to do is fill those eggs. I didn't use a piping bag because this was just fine with me, but you can do that if you want. But this worked really well and I was ready to start eating. These are so good with the crunch on the outside when you bite into it. Oh, it's delicious. And then that creamy filling with that nice little Mexican flavoring going on with the avocado and the hot sauce and, and the lime juice. It's just really fantastic. These are definitely worth trying and perfect for like if you have a party or you're taking, you know, a dish to a house. It, they are just going to be scrumptious. And they're a little bit different than traditional deviled eggs. And once you start eating these, you don't want to stop. If you love appetizers, especially with avocado, then you've got to try my Caprese appetizer. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you to this hilarious recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button for me, all right? We'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe that is delicious and nutritious. Here is my son who interrupted the shooting of my video here and I just thought I would put him in it. He hasn't been in my video for a very long time. I'll get him any way I can.